welcome back to the channel and today we are looking at some of your best builds where i've asked members of my discord community to submit their best trail makers creations and uh we're starting off with this vtol fighter jet mn35 by mr naris now for this month of best builds and trail makers there were so many amazing ones that i want to include but simply do not like it, it would be way too long of a video so if your creation did not get included in today's video submit it for next month because uh there were a bunch that i i just i had a lot of trouble eliminating from the selection today and it was really no particular reason other than the fact that i usually have time for 10 creations and we're starting off with this one here so this is just a super well-designed aesthetic creation like there's there's a lot of design going on in this thing as far as the aesthetics goes uh, also, there's a bunch of buttons I need to press. So, we got super fire rate on these things. Wow. Are they, like... There has to be, like, guns glitched in or something. That that fire rate is ridiculous. Um, we do have yaw as well. Can pull some crazy maneuvers. You can see there's thrust vectoring in the back there. I can set a trim so that I can just fine-tune my, uh, my flying trajectory. Oh, Z is to change the thrust from push button to just toggle on or off. And then X, oh, is X like a cruising mode? Do you hear the difference in the thrust? So hold on a second. So here is thrust with X. Here's thrust with Z. Huh, yeah, it looks like there might be like different speed settings for the thrust. That's kind of interesting. All right, that was number one do. What, wait, what? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what, wait, what is number one? What, what does that do? It almost feels like it's turning into, like, VTOL mode or something, but... Oh, it is! Well, this is pretty cool. How do I... How do I go down, though? Do I just... Do I just use my thrust to go down? Here we go. I don't actually have landing gear on this thing. But that was a pretty soft landing, wasn't it? Yeah, so Z is max thrust, X is low thrust. I was right. And then one is VTOL mode. Oh, shift to go up, control to go down in VTOL mode. I did try that. I didn't give enough time to take effect. All right, up next, we've got the World War 21 uh, fighter plane 2 with cluster bomb by No You. And the description just says boom, boom. Look at that. Look at these wings. These wings have a pretty uh, standout design here. So I'm curious about the cluster bomb thing. Do you see these things on the side there? I think I understand how they're going to work. That is, that's a unique uh, take on cluster bombs. This vehicle is unconfigured at the top there. So it's going to be interesting figuring out the buttons. That's a lot of firepower. All right. Uh, shift number one. Oh, okay. I see. I actually really like that version of bombing is just downwards facing rockets because the rockets have an auto aim. Unfortunately, there's nothing for me to auto aim at, but when they fire, they just fire right where your reticle aims pretty much. It's pretty awesome. All right. So number two is the cluster bombs. Oh, wait. Number two is more rockets. Wait, how many rockets do we have? Where are they? Oh, okay. Yeah, there are. There's two sets of two rockets that fire together. Okay. Interesting. All right, and then number three, maybe? Oh, there it goes. See, that's cool. Too bad you can't set the bomb bays to just be like constant firing. Oh, they said they already put out another set. That's cool, seeing them in the water too. Actually, I should do that over land. Let's do a cluster bomb over land as well. All right, here it goes. I'm gonna do both at the same time. I feel like there's a chance for me to hit myself. All right. Cluster bombing actually looks pretty effective, even with just the one, uh, the one go from the bomb bays. That's pretty cool. All right, but we also, I think this thing has automatic landing gear. So let me try to land over on this strip over here. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, I'm gonna give it another chance on the aircraft carrier. Okay, let's come in slow for the landing. Not that slow. All right, landing gear's down. And the- whoa, that is so soft! That- the double suspension on the front landing gear, really good. Alright, and we even have a taxiing wheel. Which, uh, does a nice 180 and then you can't undo it. <laughs> Alright, up next is, uh, this thing. This is the piston-powered exosuit by Jacopi12. A bipedal walker with a fully piston-based movement system. Apparently it can lift things? Look at- look at the mustache. Wait, my helmet looks like a mouth. That's actually kind of epic. The eyes, the eye decals are so interesting. That's really good. Very robot-y. All right, let's try walking this thing now. 
There we go. Oh man, the gyro stabilizers are making this thing work so well. All right, so there's those controls. What is Q and E gonna do? Okay, Q and E is the controls for the magnets. Good to know. Number one. Okay. Number two is to like do, look at the shoulder articulation. Whoa. That's really well done. Oh, I see. Interesting. That's cool. I like that a lot. All right, uh, left shift is to lift up the arms. I'm assuming control. Look at the piston in the arms. Okay, space is to crouch. Oh, all right. We're gonna do some lifting. All right, so of course, we've gotta lift a giant container like this thing. Bring it in, stand up, lift the arms up. There we go. All right, now run. Oh, it's working. This is ridiculous. All right, let's bring it down a little bit. I think we actually go faster if we have our weight forward. There we go, a little bit faster. All right, and then I can set it down, crouch a little bit, and then let go like that. That's pretty cool. This is a great exosuit. Like, look at the piston articulation for everything. It's awesome. Okay, up next is uh, the Thrust Vectoring VTOL V3 by Random Spaceship. A multi-mode VTOL with auto-stabilizing, controlled and stabilized purely through thrust vectoring and 135 logic blocks. I don't think I've ever used that many logic blocks. All right, I didn't see anything in the description. Look at all these logic blocks. I didn't see anything in the description for how to switch modes, but oh, there's uh, controls up there. Okay, cool. Oh, I guess shift. Shift is to switch modes. All right, so this is 100% thrust vectoring is all of the controls. There are like, if I press WASD, whoa, okay, that's what it does. All right, let's just press space. There we go. We're in VTOL mode. All right, these are on toggle. All right, now I can go forward. They're doing some weird things. I can turn, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These things are responsive, though. All right, now let's shift into plane mode. Here we are. All right, this feels a little bit better. So now in plane mode, it's also the thrust that is doing all the turning. See, there's some roll for thrust vectoring. There's pitch for thrust vectoring. None of the none of the wings are doing anything to aid this. They're just giving me lift in general. And then what about like? Oh, there we go. We even got yaw in plane mode. That's crazy. Look at all the, there's all the logic blocks on the bottom too. Why do you need this many logic blocks? All right, now let's, uh, oh, control, I, I can go backwards. No, this isn't going to work. This can't work. Yeah, see a, a tail. If you have a tail on a plane, you can't go backwards, but I did a 180 so, and that was pretty epic. All right, let's shift back into VTOL mode here. Here we go. We're in VTOL mode now. And I guess control is probably to go down, right? Yeah, it thrust, ve it vectors the thrust outwards more so that we go down. So if I don't do anything, then I go up. Okay, there we go. Oh, so Z is like manual control mode versus auto control mode. So I was in manual control mode, which is why I was flopping all over the place. Now I'm in auto mode. So now you can see it's much more level, much more stable. So let's turn. Let's try to navigate ourselves back down to this carrier here. Oh, backwards a little bit. Forwards a little bit. Forwards a little bit. And we are touching down now. There we go. Yeah, this thing is, it's a little bit, it's hard to get used to, but I'm just surprised with the logic, how responsive every single control is to these thrusters. Speed is on maximum, I guess, for the rotating servos, and they do get pretty fast. Okay, so up next, uh, from now on for the these submissions, you guys are gonna have to indicate what map your creation is intended to be used on, because this next one, I don't know if it's for the space map or not. So I'm gonna spawn it here, and then transition over the space map for the rest of the creations and see how it does in both maps. But this is Dragon Wing V2 by B's Knees, T to fold, J to hover, H to stabilize, hover, V to boost. So that makes me think that, that makes me think it's not a space creation, but the aesthetics, this thing, so cool. Looks like a space creation to me. All right. So J to hover, you see, but it's got space thrusters and quantum rudders. So it, part of that makes me think maybe it is for the space map. Okay, here we go. I mean, I seem to be able to hover. Look, look at this. It seems good in 1G. This thing looks so cool. Oh yeah. And then V for boost. Whoa. All right, there's a bunch of other buttons though. Q and E, so it does have yaw. Let's go. Wait, what? Why do those bullets look bigger than normal? It's just, do those, do those lasers look bigger than normal to you? H seems to tilt me up for some reason. Don't know what it's doing. 
Oh, maybe H is the auto stabilization. That's probably what it is. I probably turned off auto stabilizer because I can see there's a gyro right in there. That probably gets turned off, I bet. All right, K. Ooh, we got a shield on this thing. A very subtle shield. L. Oh, th are those lights? Just those lights? Okay. I mean, it's something. There's definitely more weapons to fire. Oh, X. There it is. That's what I was missing. Uh, I think those are all the controls. Uh, this thing's really easy. To, it, it just hovers on its own. It's really easy to fly around. And the aesthetics are just on point. I love these, these helicopter blades that they use as wings. So let's take it in for a landing, and then we'll transition over to the space map for some crazy looking space creations. All right, here we go. It should auto hover. Here, let me do this so I can slow down. All right, now to go down, I'm gonna have to turn off the auto hover and turn it back on gradually. There we go. Perfect. And then I can do T to transform for storage mode. There we go. All right, let's transition over to the space map and see what these space creations are all about. Okay, up next is the Vision CIB 5356 Gjallarhorn by Strelizia XX. Long history of intelligence species tells us that no war effort is ever truly successful without a good edge in information gathering. So here came the CIB 5356 or the Adamant Watcher, best fitted for recon and long range missions. Whoa, look at the design of this thing. Oh, this thing is so epic. How, would you, how, would you, how do you make designs this epic? Look at the... This part, this part right here is so cool. This part, and then like the way that the paint job goes. Oh, it's that, oh, no, I just noticed like the gold. This gold trim is so good. Some people are so good with decals. Wait, what? This is the front? Oh, I totally thought it went that way. Does this not look like windshield to you? This is so, even the bottom has a good decal on it. This thing looks crazy. Okay, uh, we got a bunch of buttons to press. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm going up right now for some reason. I don't know what left shift does. G. Oh, we actually have landing gear. Oh, look at that. Whoa, the way the landing gear goes completely flush with the body. Whoa, look at that. That's actually pretty impressive. I'm actually curious how you did that because by default when you're building... um, Here, let me go into build mode actually. Yeah, see, so this is where the landing gear is by default, and you programmed it to just kind of contract in. When it extends, it's on a different angle. That's pretty good. Oh, there's the shield. Shield looks cool. Oh, N is for hover when we're in 1G. Okay, cool. We, this thing is 1G compatible. Oh, yeah, shifting control is up and down. Let me actually spawn in the space station over here and actually try it then. So there's hover. Shift. Oh, so control is to go up. That's opposite what I'm used to. Oh, look at that. And then... Out we go. This spaceship looks great. It fits this map so well. Like just exiting that space station there was pretty satisfying. This has no weapons though. This is just a recon vehicle. Very interesting. All right, let's move on to the next one. Oh, look at this. Look at the design of this. This is the YVWTM SLX 2556812 Eternity by Yidify RS. Could have just called it the Eternity, like. It takes an eternity just to say this name. For ease of pronunciation, you may ignore, ignore the acronyms and numbers if you want. Too late for that. No guns or shields. Okay. Well, let's just push buttons and see what happens. I love the, the dragon decal, like the, the LED dragon decal there. Whoa, eternity. How did you use decals to write the name on this thing? Well done. I'm trying to figure that out. Okay, there's some cool stuff going on here. Even like, like these these thrusters here being angled like that like that was you actually had to build it on those angles you can see like the pipe connections and the steering hinges that's impressive oh look at this stuff i feel like most of these thrusters are just aesthetics oh so epic this thing is actually so epic oh this thing is very maneuverable too look at the engines up here those are that's a well-designed engine that's not like a standard engine design. That's like built using pieces. Okay, look at these lights. That actually, that's some pretty good lighting. Yeah, this is straight up just a uh, super aesthetic build. Like even, look at what's going on in here. The mesh decal on the windows. That's an interesting design. I haven't really seen that used before. Dang, there's a lot going on on this. Like it's hard to really fully appreciate it. I feel like I've missed, there's already so much I've missed probably. All right, looks like it has landing gear, so let's actually spawn over in the space station. Oh yeah, there it is. Interesting, and number one is supposed to be hover. Oh, there we go. 
Yep, it does hover. It's actually not too bad. Yeah, this isn't too bad at all. There goes the landing gear. And then we could switch from hover mode. Oh, 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 oh. I almost, almost hit the ceiling there. And yeah, now we're in uh, space flight mode. All right, I kind of want to crash this thing. This thing looks like it'd be a satisfying crash. Here we go. Wow. That was not what I was expecting. All right, super cool design. Okay, up next is uh, the provenance of the Ghost Armada by Ghost Raptor. The 40K inspired battleship featuring deadly broadside and twin twin forward miniguns to effort effortlessly subdue any opposition. And this is just another, whoa. This is another insanely, insane looking build. The, the greebles on this and like, hold on, what? What is going on over? Oh, whoops, I'm pressing things. Oh, look at the skulls. So this, this what, I don't know what this is. What, is that a paint job? But it makes it look like this thing is gigantic. Like all the lighting on this makes it look like little windows and it just increases the perception of the scale so much more. So yeah, I have a left side weapons and right side weapons. That's cool. There's some more on the, the guns in the front there. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm just, just seeing the design of this front section looks so epic. Oh, this thing just, it just stays on a plane here. All right, number one is the shield. There we go. It's pretty epic. Doesn't it feel like this thing has like a vertical uh, controllability, like up and down. Just kind of stays here. There's no pitch or roll or anything. It's just very much locked to this plane of uh, travel. But like, I, I wouldn't know how to lower myself if I wanted to. But yeah, the arrows for the left and right is an interesting control to- Ooh! Hit myself. Interesting control choice. Oh boy. Okay. Do not fire the cannons while you're going very fast forward. Super crazy design though. Oh, that looks cool! Whoa! That was awesome! That was just my debris leaving smoke behind and I happened to be traveling along with it. Made it look like I was traveling through hyperspace or something. Alright, up next is the V-Wing Space Fighter by Dan McSharp. The V-Wing concept is meant to make sure the center of mass is ahead of the miniguns making them push us slightly in the right direction. The center of mass is ahead of the miniguns instead of off target when shooting. Hmm, I'm not really sure I understand the logic behind that. It also makes it so that shots at this ship from the top or bottom can sometimes go between the arms. That makes sense. Best used in cockpit view, one out of seven. Okay. Oh boy, there's a lot of controls. Travel mode and battle mode. T to toggle between travel mode and battle mode. You can jettison the arms. Useful for rebalancing after losing one arm. That is so genius. If you lose an arm and you're off balance, just get rid of your other arm on your own. Although get an EMP in the wrong spot and those arms are gonna jettison themselves. All right, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing does. So like T is like, whoa. All right, so this is travel mode, I guess. Some cool paint jobs on this thing. Oh yeah, look at that. G is for landing gear if we need it. All right, so then, yeah, we can't shoot until we do this. Then we're in like battle mode. Look at that, that's crazy. All right, let's go into the first person view. One out of seven, first person camera. Oh, this does look cool. All right, and then T for battle mode. There we go, that is a lot of firepower as well. Dang. All right, and then here, let's go back into orbit so we can appreciate the jettison here. So now, what was it, number two? Oh, two is a cannon. Number five? There they go. And now we're this thing. Oh, this thing is hard to control by itself, but not impossible. Oh, I was using the wrong, I was using the wrong thrust, that's why. There we go. Oh, I could actually use my own arms for targets. Ha! <laughs> I'm locking onto my own ship. Well, at least you get- you keep all your weapons when your arms go away, so that's kind of nice. Alright, and then up last, The Eye of Space by Chill Gamer 2. Inspired by the Eye of Cthulhu, this scary eye travels space and looks for any wandering travelers to eat up. So I thought this was a super unique creation. Is that a brain? This thing has a brain? Whoa! Oh, look at the pupil is like- you can hardly see. You need like the right angle. Oh, there we go. Look, the pupil is spinning. Whoa. I just noticed like the tendrils in the back. Oh, this is, this is different. This is really different. And then, oh, ho, ho, this is a horror machine here. There's like skulls inside. Oh, look at me inside there. This is crazy. How did you even like, what? This doesn't even make sense. This is crazy. The paint job on this, like look at the gradient there. The paint job on this is great and the texture and then like there's teeth 
This is awesome. This is such an awesome build. I love that the eye has its own brain. Something about it. I don't know. There's something about that. <laughs> Even the pupil is well done. Or like the iris is well done on this. Oh, wait, what? I can like push the eye forward from its little thing. I don't think I'm, I don't think that's supposed to be a control that I do. I'm like pushing it from the eye socket. All right. Look at this. It's an innocent, perfectly normal looking, uh, severed space eye. And then there's a horror space eye with teeth and a brain. <laughs> Such a cool concept for a build. So which one of these builds was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure that you join the Discord if you want to submit your Trailmakers builds for future Your Best Builds videos. And uh, I cannot wait for the next Your Best Builds videos uh, in January. Hope you guys enjoy your new year. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.